Hi guys, and welcome back to another show on the Buffalo video. I hope you've all been well. And today we are doing another key or possibly two in the Players Cup 4 qualifier tournaments that are currently running on the events part of the PTCGA programme. And we are covering Santa Scorch featuring Scoop Up Pals as our deck of choice today. Now, it's not been seeing much play, I've noticed, for quite some time. And my question is, can it still compete? And we are doing this video to find out if that is the case. I've been playing a couple of games on a ladder with it um, today and yesterday, and it doesn't do too bad to be fair. And I've been getting like five win streaks at a time, and I know obviously the ladder's not a lot to go by because not all decks on the ladder are um, even competitively viable. I like, just like test decks and things. Excuse me. So again, uh, we're going into a competitive environment and hoping that it can still keep up. Now, this deck on the face of it may seem a little bit tacky, especially seeing cards like the one-off fan of waves and only a single fire crystal where as opposed to most sense scorch decks that used to run two, or indeed just more fire energy, as this deck only has uh, 11 fire energy, but because you only have realistically four attackers and they should be enough to last to the game, obviously other than the case of Decidueye where you do just sort of fire on all guns with the Vulcanians and hope that they do their job and you do you have double uh, blaze for the Decidueye matchup. Um, you don't really use Vulcanian as an attacker in general, you do just use it for its attack flare starter. If you go second, it does accelerate three fire energy from the deck to your fire Pokemon in any way you like. Or is it to your Pokemon? Yeah, it's to your Pokemon, not to your fire Pokemon. So, uh, that's the only reason for Volcano is here, because Decidueye doesn't too much play anymore either. And yeah, we're playing the Scoop Up Pals version because I feel like it's the best one, like gives you the best sort of matchup against certain things. Uh, being able to reuse a single ping from Zigzagoon can some, sometimes allow you to reach a 220 KO with Double Blaze, which obviously it knocks out Urshifu's, knocks out. Um, Eternatus is and um, can knock out Azation with a coast of metal energy on and things like that. So, uh, and because of we're using the Scoop Up Pals engine, of course, we want to be also reusing Giratina. So, in the metal matchup, obviously, they have their special energy that actually removes their weakness, but that's not always the case because obviously, Giratina does actually get rid of a special energy on your opponent's active Pokemon, and so does Fan of Waves. So, that's how we basically destroy the metal matchup, and there are a lot of metal decks I've seen in the Players' Cup qualifiers. So, there's not really a whole lot to be said about the deck. Um, four Quick Ball and four Pokecom just for maximum consistency. Uh, a single copy of Reset Stamp, because being able to weld it and Reset Stamp in the same turn, because this deck has no other hand disruption, Reset Stamp is extremely necessary. There used to be two in here, but we're now including a single copy of Mew, uh, just for when Urshifu does start doing terrible, terrible things. Um, so, I do personally prefer two reset stamps in this deck, and, if, and not every Players Cup tournament I've been in has even had an Urshifu player, let alone uh, played against the Urshifu deck itself in the Players Cup. So, you could potentially take out the Mew and stick in another copy of Reset Stamp, which realistically, Reset Stamp is equally as good um, against the Urshifu matchup, but this thing is uh, the nuts against <laughs> against Urshifu because they need a Rapid Strike energy to even Gale Thrust and then they need two Rapid Strike energies to even uh, G-Max Rapid Flow so this card is like try and get as much card up, play out this card as you can guys because this card is bonkers and you know it was severely undervalued as a card when it came out and I, I have no idea why because <laughs> making your opponent's attack cost cost one extra Especially in the case of uh, Sunscorch, where you know you attach energies from the discard pile to itself, so that you'll never be under its usual attack requirements. And the whole point of Sunscorch is that its damage ramps off the amount of fire engines on it, and therefore that's why it combos perfectly with Wondrous Labyrinth. Uh, three copies of Boss's Orders. Um, if you want to go down to two copies and a copy of Great Capture, that'd be also very understandable because does allow you to both um, gust in an opponent's bench Pokemon and Welder in the same turn, which is obviously ideal in fire decks. So 
that's all there is to be said about that and obviously four scoop now they used to be four switch but with the prints of escape rope i've been using two escape rope and two switch to a very good effect i do like escape rope in this deck it's very useful um, because again it is the whole thing where you can't welder and gust in the same term but escape rope is like a half a gust kind of thing is like it's not entirely gust but that's all there is for that um so that's all for the deck list and we'll be right back with some videos in the Players Cup 4 qualifiers. So we are here for the first game of the first of the two keys of the Players Cup 4 qualifiers tournaments. First two keys of this video anyway. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Let's check, are we going first or second? My opponent is going first. So because I'm going second, I am just going to happily start with this guy. Because the idea is to put the Dedani down, uh, put the Jirachi down, sorry. Um, hello, whoever that is. <laughs> um, the idea is to put the Jirachi down. Obviously, if it's an ADP deck, they're going to be playing Zacian, um, which is fine. I might try and fly out the gates with Rashazard, potentially. If my opponent's going to play the whole Zamazenta shenanigans, then so be it. And he hits nothing off this. And the fortunate thing is as well that we don't really have to go sort of over the top with anything, but we are going to anyway. So I'm just going to grab the Dedene. And we're going to attempt to find Reshazard. If we can find a Wilder, even better. We find Neva because this game is, you know, amazing. Uh, so get rid of this. Do we have Rush's on deck? We don't. And we have, we've prized a Pokemon? No, we've used a Pokemon. So we had four quick balls, three Pokemon communications left. A Sand Scorch that we could have found, but obviously the game. Oh, we do have a Sand Scorch, I suppose, so. We could just live on Sand Scorches, I suppose. I'll keep this one in the back. And we'll just flare starter. And we could have found welders or anything, but we didn't find any of those either, so. No supporter, always good to see. We also need to check to see if. Well, that's another annoyance. Um, we also need to check to see if our Giratina is in deck, because we do obviously need rid of these things. We do also have Fun of Waves, <clears throat> which is a non-searchable Giratina of sorts. So, we just outright find the giant half, which is beautiful. And the question is, what do I get rid of? And because of these metal goggles, I don't think that it's going to be serving much purpose in this match. So this could be a massive misplay, but. these things need to happen. So we'll go here. We're only going to weld up one energy onto here. <clears throat> and stick the other one here. And we can not VMAX just yet. So we'll just high heat blast. Because we know it, at some any given point he can come in with the Luke Metal and the Luke Metal is entirely infuriating but it's also 
Excuse me, not the end of the world. So, okay, six well. That's fine. I'm actually... That's why I didn't discard the Wondrous Labyrinth, because I had a feeling we'd be playing Chaotic Swell, and I wanted to bump the Chaotic Swell with Wondrous Labyrinth, so I can keep Wondrous Labyrinth for further down the line. And of course, they have the Marnie to get rid of my entire hand. Um, we still have four Quick Balls in the deck, so this is not the end of the world. And we do have the Drachi on the bench. So we just got the Luke Metal back into his hand. What else did he search? Uh, true, Luke Metal goes with Power. Okay, so to be expected. Um, I think the correct play here is yeah to use Drachi first. And we do just get the quick ball, which is nice. And we do need to get rid of one boss orders, because then it, we've got options with Aldegoss basically. And we'll get the Giratina. And we'll play the Giratina. And we'll have off with uh, that disgusting thing. And then we'll switch um, into the Sun Scorch V. And percent and crowbats. We will then welder to uh, this dude and simply burn a train. And there's the final waves of the prize as well. So, and there's the rushes as well. Finally, rushes <laughs> off. Um, so Reshazard is the next uh, step to power up, that's what we want to be doing. We'll probably see, yeah, this um, Malum and Lana, Metal Saucer, all the rest of it. He's probably going to Malum and Lana with the... No? Alright, okay. So he must have Switch in hand, he's just looking for a Metal Saucer. But little to my opponent's, uh, much to my opponent's dismay, sorry. He does not find the Metal Saucer and I do have the Fan of Waves in hand. So, opponent's going to be fuming. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And he doesn't even Metal War, so, uh, yeah. Well, lucky mate. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Dead. Uh, so, that's all for this one. And I think I just heard someone at the door, so I'll be back for the second round of this one. So, the next round of this Players' Cup is about to start. And with it, we do have a free code for one of our followers. A bunch of my codes got sat on, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> being sat on isn't the same as being used, frankly, so. Uh, lose the coin flip, again. I swear I've lost like the last nine coin flips of all my games. Like, literally. And I didn't get to see. I am going first. Uh, but we do have scoop up net, so I'm happier just leaving the Volcanian as a one prize in the active. And well that's just gonna bug me in it. Um, especially as we're against Mewtwo of all things. And I just want to try and establish my board. Um, so I think we're going to pass there potentially. Um, yeah, I've got three trains in my hand. I can only ever draw four, which means that. I can never get Poltergeisted for 
an excessive amount. Assuming it's Mewtwo, it could indeed obviously be uh, Urshifu. And it is Mewtwo, so it's what it is. And will he have in this one card hand behind this research the Gengar and Q? Because they usually do. Honestly, every time I've been against this deck, every time Robot Fail, they've had like Dedene as well as the Tina Chomp, the Mimic, uh, the Gengar Q, and the Bio Plume. And it's like, you didn't even use Cherish for me. You <laughs> calm your nuts. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's crazy. And obviously Tycho, hopefully he's gonna have to put this Gengar Mimikyu into play. Which he doesn't even grab it, so that must mean it's prized. And he's used Star Search, so that's good. And I'm just gonna get rid of this Power Energy, possibly, but we're gonna put this here. We're going to attach one energy here. <laughs> um, we'll evolve this. We'll get this out of the active. We need to start getting rid of things like Aurora and Horror Energies and things. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Horror Energy here, I'm pretty certain. Um, so we'll go for our Dedane. Because if we can find Giratina as well, we do remove two energy. So uh, we do find Giratina, but not much of anything else. Um, well, that's assuming that Giratina is in the deck. So... Still not found the Wilder, and we're um, 26 cards into our deck. Amazing. Uh, let's see if we've got the Giratina, because we don't need the Rashes our guess anyway. We do have the Giratina, so this is good. So we get to get rid of this. And Radiate Heat. So Energy Denial is especially good against the Galaxy Mewtwo deck, and when it finally comes to find its way into play, we do also have access to, what's the word I was looking for? It's going to discard two cards here, just for a Malolana? No? Okay. So I just wanted to use it for whatever reason. I mean, realistically, if you wasn't going to use it for its effect, why didn't you just use Gozman and Haller? Um, <laughs> these things do baffle me. So, we're going to go in with this guy and simply dead air change again. Uh, still a ridiculous amount of cards. Do you know what? Right. <laughs> what is going on? Um, Let's find out how many welders I've actually got in this deck right now. Um, so I've got all four. So the odds are good. Yeah, cheers odds. What a dream put anyway. Um, how can we not weld this turn? This is just so dumb. <laughs> um, I think the correct option is to use boss's orders this turn. And that is what I'm going to do. Because I'm sick of not playing a support of a turn. <laughs> so, let's uh, get them supporters. And he can't OK me off 2 energy. Like, it's physically impossible. Mewtwo and MewGX is as crazy as it is, they can never do that off, uh, off two energy. Now, if he randomly plays Fire energy in this, in this crazy deck that has Aurora energy and Horror energy in, and if he's randomly got two Fire energy and a, and a Welder of all things, then he'll be able to uh, Darkest Tornado GX. 
if that happens, I'll be so angry. <laughs> like, ju just for the record, I will be that angry if that happens. Ugh. So we're probably going to just see a horror house here. And surprisingly not. Okay. We'll see another daddy, uh, daddy. Daddy change. There we go. Words. An opponent just thinning out all the cards in his deck. If he doesn't get a replacement stage in here, now we're going to be 40 cards into our deck. We should be able to find a welder. There we go. About bloody time game. Right, so. Let's finally do some stuff. Let's get rid of one of these. Um, we're hitting 160 on that anyway, so not forced. We'll stick these on the bench one, save it for later. And... I don't think I've got any tech cards that help particularly. So I'm going to keep all of the poker card. I know I'm about to get reset stamps to four. So what? <laughs> like, not really forced. Wondrous Labyrinth. This is the card I was talking about that will um, that will swing the tides of this match so much. So we see enough money. Um, that's good. We'll find our Sense Scorch Free Max here shortly. Possibly even another Welder. Maybe even some Fire Energy, seems like I have no Fire Energy in that hand. Fan of Waves. That is a great, great card to see right now. And he does have the Chaotic Swell as well. That's quite annoying. This guy has everything. Um, in the meantime, whilst my opponent has absolutely everything, so, um, here is another code for my viewers. There we go. The focus is real. So I don't think my opponent's going to be ready for this, um, for this... Oh, okay. Well, you know, if you want to do that, that's fine as well. Um, so we can go like this, like this, and like this. And now he's used his GX attack. And we're also just going to flip that back into the deck as well. So, uh, well done, mate. Good on you. Trying to get clever with his Pale Moon, but apparently not, so unlucky. Like, what can I, yeah, I was going to say, what can my opponent do there, <laughs> honestly? Um, he played into himself, so well played. Uh, there's going to be no cut, because the round is uh, immediately about to start. And what I will do, in the meantime, is another one. Here is another code for my viewers. Hopefully it is more than just one person getting these codes. And again, as I may have already mentioned, uh, please feel free, um, or I would very much appreciate it if you would, uh, leave a comment if you do get any of my codes for my videos. Leave in a comment just to let me know if you've pulled anything good. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not asking for the world, just a, just a comment, just to, you know, so I can stay in touch with my viewers and keep, um, keep, keep up to socialising with you guys and such. It does seem we're against ADP, and we are against ADP, and of course the Crush and Hummer variant, and it does also have Chaotic Swell. So, fun times. This is always a fun match. And I don't know if my opponent's going to be going first or second, but... I'm going to keep this Jirachi in my hand. My opponent's going first, so I'm going to let him try and more wildly. I always like to sit back and watch these ADP players try some more wildly. It's ever such good fun. Aha, oh, such fun. My opponent has nothing. Right. Nothing, you say. Um, whereas we have the ability to... Double blaze this turn, if I can get lucky enough. Will I get lucky enough? 
Probably not. This hand is actually not as good as I'd like it to be for that to be the case. So, we'll go here, which doesn't work obviously. Go here. Uh, quick ball is good. So we want to go Pokecon, put this back in. Is the Rashazard going to be in deck? Yes it is, right. Step one, complete. <laughs> um, we'll put this down first. Go here. Put this back down, put this back down. Put this down. <laughs> Get us now uh, and... Crobat first. Or five. So we find Welder, but we don't find much else. How many? So, because we've missed it, and we know my opponent plays Crushing Hammer. Best things to do. Would be to just stick this down and discard this. Do we go for it? It's like, do you know what? I'm doing it for the video. Um, so if we can find scoop up net or other things, um, what do we need? We're going to need a scoop up net and a quick ball to be able to get the welder through welder goss and we also need to draw two energy right here. So can we do that? Um, very unlikely. This is going to be the make or break and it is clearly going to be the break. Um, so, so be it. Uh, it is what it is. And we're just going to heart rage play. <laughs> Will my opponent mind me? Tails on Crush and Hammer. That's nice to see. Retreating was probably the worst thing you could have done. Um, okay, he retreated far too early. If you're a good player, never retreat at the start of your turn. Retreat at the end, because now he's going to find a switch as well. So he's found the water energy, but now he's going to put in additional resources to actually just find a switch. And he's got nothing to metal source to on his bench either. He's even just discarded one with quick ball. Guy's a crazy man. <laughs> this man is a. Uh, this man is mental. He's obviously, you know, um, going to be using Crobat for four. But he now needs to find so many resources. It's like, <laughs> and he doesn't get it because he retreated at the start of his turn. So you know, spectacular. What a lad. Um, What do we do here? We know he's down one of his Asians, so I suppose we can always go here. Go here and double blaze, and then next turn, if he misses another crushing hammers, another crushing hammer, sorry. Um, the VMAX is nice to see, thank you. For losing more so early. And Alter Creation doesn't even damage it, and he's gonna get he's about to get flare striked. So 
I say he's about to get Flare Strike, watch it all just go to nuts now. Um, well, another Tails, it's nice to see. Because, um, you know, what's the point in trying to rely on cards like that? It just makes no sense. And putting this in the active now means that I get to uh, use Radiating Heat. So, either way, like the correct the correct thing to do there was to boss's orders in the uh, the crowbar. Like that was the correct play. I don't know why I didn't search out anything with Cherish Ball. You should have searched out the other ADP unless it's already rid of it, which is not. So that's how it's probably prized. So that's one less useful prize it's gonna get. So, we'll go here. How many switch resources are you down? None. So, he is down a metal saucer. He's not down any energy switch. He is also already down a water energy as well. So, do you know what? We're just gonna use the radiating heat and get rid of the water energy. Oh, nearly missed that then. Because we can continue doing this until he wastes a metal saucer and an energy switch just to ultimate ray and not even get the KO. <laughs> And we still have uh, a switch left in deck. We've still got both escape ropes. We've got two scoop up nets, and scoop up net means welder in this in, in this case. So I, I just don't really can't really see this um, going too well for my opponent. Now he'll probably attempt to crowbat a little bit too late. He's just got rid of an energy switch, so he must have another one. He's going to Danny a third time. Does he have the water in hand already? And he's lacking the metal saucer? Another boss's orders play, so. At least he's bossed in the right thing this time. <laughs> Um, that, that can at least be said for my opponent. But he's already attached now as well. If we top deck a switch here, I'm gonna be so happy. If we don't, we top deck another energy, of course, but and not an issue, per se. Um, Fan of Waves is gonna serve no purpose in this match. So, do I wanna try and find Scoop up net? I think that is potentially the best option attempt to do. How many fires do I have in the discard? One. We don't mind another one being in there. Thin that out. Um, well done. There we go. So, which ones do we want to pile energy onto? Um, realistically, I need to start attacking with the Sun Scorch. But we can only hit it. Oh, we needed the scoop up net there because they had the Elder Goss for the Welder. 
Yeah, ah, oh, never mind. Um, so now I've got to find one additional thing. It's a pain. But it is what it is. And I don't particularly mind my. Um, let's see, what, what's my opponent? What's he been through? I'm just going to save the reset sample thing. Let's use two boss already. He has no vent spaces open. He probably has all his energy in his deck. So I think actually the correct thing to do would be to put this back into the deck and get to Dene. And pass. My opponent as well could entirely be bluffing. Oh, well, he's not. He's got the third floor energy, which is fine. And that's the third boss sword down. And for whatever reason, he boss sword just to Dene this time. He actually did it wrong again. And he's probably going to pay for it. So now he doesn't have a great catcher target. And these decks always, always, always play great catcher. Um, that being said, I don't have my I've just lost track of words again. Um doesn't matter, I suppose. Um right, let's try and figure this out. We need I need my fire crystal, which is gone. So that's fabulous. We're just going to go here, we'll reset stamp. And... Yeah, Great Catcher does win in the game, so he did more while and Great Catcher. So, we'll see how this goes. If he more wiles me, then so be it. The mobile would be devastating right now, honestly. Excuse me. Then I swap out the prizes. So my opponent's down all this lot. He needs like a research to be able to find him a mobile and a great capture. All that, of course. Um, so they forgot about that. Seeing all these bench sitters. Um, can't wait for this deck to get out of the format. Um, just because that, it's like two KOs, so um, it's so stupid. Um, so, one last code to complete the video, and I will reopen up the deck list. So, do we think that Sand Scorch can uh, compete in the Players' Cup? I feel like, yes, it did It did okay, to be honest. I'm um, sorry, just trying to get the camera's focus. There we go. And uh, whilst I find the deck list. Um, yeah, it did okay. Um, I got very unlucky at the ends there. Um, and my opponent just like, he had so much of everything and I had so little of nothing. It was actually like getting on my nerves. Uh, how long it took me to find a welder in that game specifically. Um, so if you do want to play this deck, what I'd recommend is making just a simple change because Ursh uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu is actually seeing a lot less play now. So taking out a single copy of Mew and just putting in a single copy of um, Cookie Gear is probably the best sort of little change. It's a very minor change because Urshifu is not seeing barely any play. 
I managed to first basically stop by this and the Giratina anyway. Um, because Giratina obviously, where's it gone? There it is. Uh, gets rid of Rapid Strike energies. Uh, so Mew's not really too much of a threat, honestly, to this particular deck. And, you know, you just don't put the Rashizard in play and they struggle so much to just get over two Sand Scorch Vs while these things absolutely just go and stack themselves up with uh, energy. So, the, the matchup against Rapid Strike Urshavu is generally quite good anyway, and Mew is a bit of a, an overkill. I kind of had it in there for obviously Tag Bolt as well, but Pico Arms one of these things, it's like up and down with how much it sees play. Um, but as proven, Sense Scorch still has enough uh, enough firepower to, um, to travel with the big boys. So, uh, that's all for this video anyway. I uh, hope, really uh, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please drop me a like, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and pop, uh, click the link below to subscribe and click the bell for upcoming notifications. It does mean, as a viewer, that because I put codes into my videos and things, you will be much more likely to actually get one of those codes and be one of the first viewers to attempt to get those codes. So that's sort of the your incentive to click the bell and get the notifications. And that's all for me. Uh, so I've been Sean the Bufflin and peace out guys.